it's been a while since I've shown a Petri, so let's take a quick look at how Marabou alcohol inks perform in resin. Hi everyone, it's Miriam with a Y. Like I said, I'm going to use all Marabou inks for this Petri, and I'll pour them in a bit of a rainbow. I'm using gentian as the blue, amethyst, cherry red, tangerine, apple for the green, and turquoise. My resin is my favorite for making Petris due to how it cures and its easy bubble release. And that's ClearCast 7050. In order to get the colors to sync, I will need Pinata White. Not many alcohol ink companies make a white, and so far the only one that works well for Petri's is Pinata Blanco Blanco. I'm going to be limiting my white for this Petri. Interestingly, in this piece, much of the white froze on top without sinking. In other words, it made more of a skin kind of floating on the top of the resin. Now it's possible the skin is a reaction to the Marabou inks, or sometimes the skin is due to a thicker or a colder resin. It's pretty hard to say for sure in this case. Adding the second bigger round of color helped break up and dissolve some of the white but not all of it. And the new round of white, that, that made a skin too. <laughs> I added a bit more color and you can see some of the white dissolving, but again, not all. So for fun, I took out my 99% alcohol and I added some of that to really encourage the white to re-liquify, if you will, and sink into the resin. That definitely helped. And this small amount of alcohol won't have much impact on the overall look of the Petri, by the way. And if you are going to do this, you really want to use 99%, because 91 has got a little bit too much water in it, and resin does not like water at all. I also had a bit of resin set aside from an earlier project, so I added a bit of rainbow ink to it, just for some sparkle. <laughs> because sparkle <laughs> equal good. <laughs> this additional resin, it's about 45 minutes older, so it's definitely thicker than the resin that's already in the mold. And because it is pretty thick now, I'm just pouring it as one fairly large tube or worm, and we'll see what we get. All right, it is time to check this out. So you can see pretty clearly now the path of the extra resin that I poured in, and you can also see that it had quite a few bubbles in it. But you know, I know that we talk about removing bubbles and everything, but I think that every now and then, they can be an interesting design feature. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself <laughs> about this one to accept the fact that I have a lot of bubbles. But seriously, I think they're kind of cool looking, so I'm totally okay with them. All right, let's see if we have something pretty on the other side, because it's kind of pretty on this side. I love the color. So let's see. All righty. And make sure that the edge releases, and it has. Oh, the edge is pretty. Oh, we have some fun dropping, according to the edge anyway. I'm a little excited. And then when I look through it this way, I can also see that there's a lot of transparency. Alrighty. Oh. Oh, it's like a nebula. It's like a nebula, and it's kind of funny. These little white spots that made it down kind of look like little stars. Oh, I love it. I love the airiness of it. 
I have to say that where I poured in the extra resin doesn't really show as like a worm or tube very much, but I think it's just so pretty nonetheless. So what do you think of the softer, fluffier look of the Marabou inks and resin? Share your thoughts in the comments. Every alcohol ink brand I've tried works well for this technique. Each just gives its own results. If you couple that with the varying possible viscosities or thicknesses of your resin, you can achieve many different Petri looks. And you can certainly mix ink brands in the same piece for even more looks. I hope that you're inspired to give this a try. Links for everything you need are in the description box, including a link for 20% off your resin. Remember to come show off your creations in my Facebook group. I would love to see them. Thank you so much for watching. Go let your creative nature shine. See you soon. Bye now.